getting like a Matt, I'm getting a Matt Damon born ultimatum complex here. <laughs> Pretending I understand you know, how the you, world works. You know, the onions. <laughs> Nothing I say here is really going to put me in danger. I just have a Jason Bourne uh, complex. I, 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 the words just keep coming out. <laughs> it's like, okay, Saudi Arabia is America's ally and Israel is America's ally, so... I don't know, it was Israel and Saudi Arabia behind 9-11? Oh, that was so hard to figure out. Can we get on to the next subject, please? It's like, okay, we know who did 9-11, just a bunch of elitists. Can we get back to reality now? It's like, good, the good, the big ugly building's gone. It, it was full of asbestos anyway, I just heard. Yeah. They somehow craft, I mean, they perfectly crashed planes into buildings, and maybe it melted, maybe it didn't, I don't know. Maybe it was demolished. No, they tried, they, they tried to melt buildings. I say they that was, I mean, it's just one of those little minor it? signs of a law, no, no. like, America, your it bubble's burst. <laughs> it, it was buildings that they had to tear down. Okay, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah, Bill O'Reilly. All the same materials, and they did not ever melt. Try, try I, know, to, like, well, I saw a picture of a building that was burning for days and it never melted. So they don't, they don't melt. That's iron. That's Not even with jet fuel. I know it, it. It collapsed from the top, and if it was all a metal no, frame, that is so bottom, strange. Dude. It collapsed from the bottom. Even the janitors were getting in trouble for saying that there was an explosion uh, at the bottom. Okay, I guess you. Maybe it's yeah, a benefit to read the story, level. and you, you're getting more details. Huh? Oh, I just said, hey, I was talking to a guy about the caverns that connect all the continents. I said, have you have you heard of the book uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth? And I said, there's like this cavern system that connects the continents, and there was a rumor in this conspiracy theory book that the Mormon temple in Salt Lake City was on top of one of those caverns. The, the reptile yeah. caverns. It's the reptile caverns. Then I said there, because there's the one up in, the, there's one up, way up in Canada that's like only an indigenous tribe is nearby and they say when people have gone back towards that big hole that they disappear. And then there's like a subway in Hong Kong that goes into the caverns. It, have you ever seen that website? Okay, where were we? <laughs> Let's get back to it. Gold Dinar. Hey, I, the Gold Dinar, uh, Subject's pretty good because um, the way they're doing it in Jakarta and uh, he said Eastern Malaysia. I think that's like the remote parts of Malaysia. Like it, it won't work in Kuala Lumpur because he says the, the NWO police come in and they disassemble the operation. And the operation is basically they have something that cuts circles out of gold and they 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 have gold coins and they can trade their vegetables and it makes their neighborhood. It, it's bartering. It's basically a bartering system, and then you read the book of transactions, and you see all the ways to make it like a sacred transaction. So every time you do it, both people feel good, and, and like it, it's a progress towards uh, um, right. Well, yeah, you get an opportunity to have a righteous trade and do it right. With like the gold is worth the same amount as a bag of vegetables or something. It's equal of equal value you don't just give a two cent worth piece of paper for some something that's worth a lot like you have a briefcase full of paper and the paper is only worth five dollars but the but the number of the paper will say it's worth a thousand dollars the bankers have a vast interest in the state i.e the people incurring as much debt as possible they are behind the marxist socialist and liberal movements which call for big government and social spending. They are behind the catastrophic wars of the last century. Actually, if you can create money out of thin air, then there's a powerful incentive to use debt to control populations and take over the That's how the Ottoman Empire was disassembled. Because the Ottoman Empire was over, like, Jewish and Christian territories that had usurious systems, and, and that eventually made the Ottoman Empire crumble during World War One. That's what Turkey did. 
I think that I think the territory of where uh, the Ottoman Empire was is just like a blessed land anyway, because Turkey's there now, and they're they're they were the first ones to go visit Burma. Like sometimes it's just the location is blessed or cursed or it has weird energy or. Like you can tell where you are now is has different energy than when we were down in Albuquerque or something, the Southwest. You know the energy. Of the, you know when you go to different places, the energy of the land is different everywhere. It's got a different character, and then the people react differently to it. That's why I remember Medina. Medina was supposed to be if you went to Medina, then if you went to Medina and endured the hardships of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be a personal witness for you on the day of resurrection. That's like an actual, that's an act that you can do that, that makes your day of resurrection really like better than everyone else's. But it, it's not just like doing the Hajj and going to, I mean, I think you still have to do the Hajj. That's the obligatory. But this is like a voluntary, like move to Medina and just endure the hardships there. And that, that would, I think, well, yeah. Cause he, he might've started out in Medina. We'll have to get our historic. Can we get a historian on this? Yeah. We still need to get you some more. Are you done babbling? <laughs> I, I, like, I hope I sound like babble. I, I don't want to sound like the know-it-all that I think I'm sounding like I am because I'm drinking coffee and it makes me think I'm really smart. Oh, okay. Anyway, 